So, Heart of the Swarm. In my own opinion, I think it massively outdid Wings of Liberty. I had a blast playing through the campaign. The story was so good. And I can just say thank you so much, Blizzard, for not dropping the ball on this one. Thank you so much. I completed the whole game on Brutal. And I just gotta say, if you love RTS games, I think you should definitely get this title. And even though I don't quite like the multiplayer aspect, really, I like custom games, but normal multiplayer, nah, never been a too big fan of it. But the, the new units are quite fun, I must say. It's some interesting concepts they have going on on some units so I think that you should definitely check it out if you love RTS or if you're just a lower whore get the game <laughs> or get the games lots of nice story lore all over yes yes story lore story lore lore story ah whatever and I would not be surprised in the slightest if Heart of the Storm gets Game of the Year award in some way, shape, or form. Also the fact that, to me at least, they managed to give something that I have looked upon as, I don't know, kind of just like blank, mindless slates with the Zerg. But with Heart of the Storm, I... I really felt like they, they gave the Swarm, well, most of the Zerg units, kind of like a, a voice, a conscience. I don't know, like like when you see the Zerglings going to Kerrigan and all that. It It's kind of like you, for, for me at least, it, it's kind of like you, you see a dog going to its master when things has gone quite to hell. And they're trying to comfort them. I don't know. It might seem strange, but to me at least, it, it felt like they 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 gave the the swarm and all the Zerg units and all feelings basically. <laughs> I don't know. It it felt like they were more alive this time. They they weren't just mindless slates just for the swarm. Go this. Go there. Kill that. Do this. It felt like there was more to them this time. And I enjoyed that. Yes, indeed. I have nothing whatsoever to complain about the game. Nothing whatsoever. Although, and uh, spoiler, spoilers. Although if you're already watching this, you, I mean... <laughs> Don't watch or listen to reviews about games if you don't want spoilers. Um, when Kerrigan fights Nerud, I think it was Nerud, or? Yes. When Kerrigan turns around and faces Jim Raynor, I would have cut the game there. <laughs> if I was the one making the game, I would have just said, Turn around, you see Jim Raynor, he smiles. And he does his usual, I don't know, some of his comments like, does it still feel like you're just riding a bike or something or, I don't know, just something. But either way, when she turns around there, sees Jim Rayner, because that was just, for, for a few seconds there, that was just such a what the fuck moment I would have just cut the game there <laughs> I would have done that that would have been so fun and I would have laughed my ass off to so many people raging about that you can't just end there come on and then there would would have been one year <laughs> Of conspiracy theories about no 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 that that can't be the real Jim Rayner. I mean, 
Jim Raynor can't possibly have been the mastermind behind everything. Or, yes, no. Then again, I mean, it would make sense when you think about it, because Jim Raynor has been everywhere playing the goody two-shoe, and if it would end up actually being that he is a bad guy, I think no one would have seen it coming. No one. Not with his crusade and everything. And then it's just... Nope. I was the bad guy all along. And you can suck it. <laughs> oh well. That's the little short review I had on Heart of the Swarm here. Um, I'm just trying to catch up to everything. Since I've completely moved into the house now. I got... I got internet a few days earlier than expected and I'm, ju I'm just trying to <laughs> get back in the cell and just get some things together and put them up there since nothing's really been happening. So Heart of the Swarm, really good, story is great, cinematics are great, the Zergs are a lot of fun. And I really love the character development of Kerrigan. So get it. Get it, get it, get it. It's a really good game. Worth the money. Go get it now. Yes, away. Away you go. Until next time.